Hello there. Sometimes I think that uh, nutrition and healthy eating is really a step-by-step -step process. You just add something in, take something away, that kind of thing. We're always talking about stuff you should take out. Uh, sugar, obviously, refined foods, processed foods, all that kind of thing. But what can you add in? Something that's going to give you a powerful punch of nutrients. And today I'm going to talk about watercress. Because I think watercress is one of those uh, easy to get hold of and easy to add into your diet kind of foods that is largely overlooked by many people. Um, if you don't know anything about watercress, then stick around because I'm going to tell you. Watercress is, as its name implies, an aquatic plant and it has been recommended for its nutritional and uh, healing properties for literally thousands of years. Hippocrates swore by it. The ancient Egyptians plied their slaves with it to keep them healthy and closer to home we were obsessed with it right into the early part of the 20th century. But then it fell from grace somehow and just ended up being a steak garnish. A quick poll of a few friends shows that many never even touch the stuff, preferring, as so many people do, spinach or rocket, or arugula, as the Americans like to say. Um, but watercress outperforms both these in its health-supporting, disease-fighting, nutritional content. And although I loathe the phrase, Ugh, it makes me so mad, superfood. <laughs> Thank you. Sorry for the violence. Um, it is a strong contender for that title and in fact often tops the list of nutrient-dense foods in various studies. The listed benefits of watercress are diverse and far-reaching and include fighting cancer and heart disease, helping fight against stroke and cognitive decline. It purifies the blood, heals sinus tissue, breaks down kidney and bladder stones, regulates hormones, builds bones, and it is anti-inflammatory and anti-aging. Its antibiotic properties fight bacteria. Its antiviral properties boost the immune system. It assists the digestive and cardiovascular systems. But is it all too good to be true? I suspect you can't eradicate all these evil baddies single-handedly like some kind of leafy green James Bond. But there is enough evidence around to show that it's definitely worth incorporating into your diet. It is a source of a little protein and its fatty acid ratio between omega-3 and 6 is great too. But its nutritional reputation comes from the stack of vitamins and minerals the plant contains. It's noted for its beta-carotin content and eye health boosting dietary carotenoids, lutein and zeaxanthin. It's very high in vitamin K, which is for blood clotting and bone health, and is a good source of the holy trinity of antioxidants A, C and E. It has various B vitamins like 1, 2 and 6, and folate and pantothenic acid. Its strong mineral content includes copper, calcium, magnesium, phosphorus, potassium and manganese. So there seems very little disagreement that watercress is well worth eating, but how best to have it? I'm sure you've tried it, but if you haven't, it has a hot peppery taste, a bit like rocket actually, um, especially if it's a mature plant, and some people don't really like that. But if you do, then bung it in salads or sandwiches or just add piles of it to your plate as an accompaniment. Eating the watercress raw will maintain the vitamin C integrity, but then again, it depends on whether you like the taste or not. And if you don't, then cook it or add it to soups or dips or juice it or add it to pasta dishes. Just chop it up and add it to just about anything and everything where you might add any herbs or other dark green leafy lovelies like spinach and rocket, of course, or just combine it with those two as well. Why not? Go crazy. So whatever you choose to do with it, it's clearly worth adding to your diet. Uh, even if you only do this seasonally, uh, UK grows watercress and the UK season is quite long actually, it's from April to October and during that time it'll be much easier to get hold of. Also it'll be a lot cheaper than during the winter months. So try it, get involved, let me know how you get on, send me your recipes. Thanks for watching, bye.